understand that you have the right to remain silent and that any statement you make may be used against you. Have these charges, uh, Mr. Pace, that have been explained to you by your attorney, and do you understand the nature of these charges, and do you understand each and every element of uh, each charge? Yes, sir. sir, do you understand that uh, upon uh, conviction of a uh, felony, that this would limit your right to a sentence of up to 481 months. Now, I want to make it clear when I give you these maximum sentences. This is from a, a chart that we sent The absolute max and maximum and most sentence, the highest sentence that anyone could get given the worst set of circumstances for the criminal record. You, you understand? It's my understanding that you and the state have agreed that in case number 10, CRS 60396, which is second degree murder, upon which you're pleading guilty, that you shall receive an active sentence of 186 months minimum to 233 months. Long Carolina's Medical Center in Charlotte, where doctors had to await my consent for her surgeries. I was not notified of this accident until the following day. During the two and a half hour drive to the hospital, I was on the phone with multiple surgeons and doctors telling me of all of her injuries and the surgeries that she would require. Tori suffered many injuries, those including a concussion, bruises to her brain, broken ribs. On her left arm, she had a broken wrist. On her left leg, she had a broken tibia, a broken fibula and a major wound caused by a piece of the vehicle that sheared into her leg. His decision to get behind the wheel of a car while intoxicated changed all of our lives. I hope there isn't a day that goes by that he doesn't think about what he has done to Laura and Tori and Evan, because I know we will not forget. I had nothing to replace her. I had no grandchildren to look forward to. I went into plan for her. All this was took away from me. She was my world. And this did not just affect my family, Tori's family, and Anna's family. This affected all of Dallas, Jackson County, and before I'm through, the whole state of North Carolina will know. Closing the door on her because it, it won't never be like that. But I feel like I don't know, it's a step forward to what we were, and I don't have to deal with him any longer.